Today is gonna be awesome because I have a new tool in the shop today and I'm super excited to get to use it. So let's check it out. This is the new Wazer Pro. This is the world's smallest water jet cutter. Now, if a lot of you guys know, I've had the first Wazer desktop in the shop for about four years now, and it's been a really cool machine. So when I heard Wazer's coming out with a bigger batter machine, I knew I had to get my hands on it. Wazer has the best instruction booklet I have ever seen. The other cool thing is look at all the accessories they give you. And we're now upgraded to 220 power instead of 110 like we had before. I noticed that the garnet hopper is bigger than the previous version. This is gonna give us longer cutting times. And it looks like they've included a sprayer for the front of the machine. Look at that. Man, this thing's high quality. And then I found this in the box. This is a magnet, a little hook on here. And it looks like it just goes like that anywhere you want. And then you just hang it up. So we're ready for a test. Got our program loaded in, we've got our origin set. So have you noticed how quiet it is? The Wazer Pro has a submersible cutting option. You see how the nozzle's underwater? I used a program called Wazer Cam, and it's so easy to use, it walks you through every step along the way to get you to cut. First thing we need to do is select a file, and then we can scale and position our part in the software. And then we can go down and select our material thickness. And Wazercam has an assortment of profiles already loaded up, or you can create your own. And then we can select our cut path. We want center, offset, inside. We have a lot of selection here. Then we can select our tabs and leads, or eliminate them altogether. Then we can select our cut quality. And this is how nice the cut edge looks. And then once we select that, it will tell us how long it's gonna take and estimate how much garnet it's gonna use. And then from there, we save it and bring it to the machine. Measure this one. Ooh, much better, I'm within five. This side's off a little bit. The inside dimension's in a few thousandths. I can continue to sneak up on this, to literally dial it in. This is why I love water jet cutters. It's so precise. Look at that. So this took around nine to 10 minutes to cut all this. So you're probably asking yourself, Jason, how come you don't outsource all your water jet cutting? And the simple answer to that is, it's expensive. It's about $120 an hour. So I can save a lot of money doing it in-house. And I can charge others when I'm not using it too to do water jet cutting. So this is a cool little small business if you think about it. 